Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard and this is our holiday special called Shopping Local. Albertans spend more on non-essentials during the holiday season than any other time of the year. If we have the chance to really think about and enjoy this holiday shopping, many of us vote with our dollars for trends we'd like to see happen all year round. So if we choose to buy a locally crafted ornament or gift, we're not only saving energy, but investing in a whole array of environmental, social and economic values. I think Christmas is a particularly good time because we're all familiar with it as being the season to shop. Well, so there's an opportunity to shop local. Uh, you could shop locally at a place like the Craft Council or at Studio Vents or uh, some of the farmers markets have a lot of really good local food that you can shop for. Uh, but all the time you could, you could spend a moment thinking about where this comes from, what it means to the person who made it. The higher price tag on these Alberta handcrafted pieces covers the cost of avoiding the massive CO2 emissions and other environmental and social exploitation that often comes along in the package with mass manufactured imported goods. There's a, definitely a sort of an alternative character to both the makers and the customers and collectors of fine craft and it's, it's not just there, you see it in other places. Uh, you see it in people who choose to participate in live music rather than simply buying CDs and DVDs, for instance, because they are buying into the cultural activity, but they're also buying in somehow into the careers of the people who are actually doing it. Young and old, many Albertans are shifting their material expectations back in time to when the quality of a handmade object gave it heirloom value, and the story about how it was made and acquired became part of the family lore we can pretty much guarantee that a, a, a big piece of ceramic ware by someone like Sam Ulick is going to stand the test of time visually as well as functionally so that you can use this for a long time uh, but it will also look just as good 50 to 100 years from now as it does right now. We get people coming in here saying oh is this really all made in Alberta and we say yes indeed most of it is and the rest of it's made in Canada or we get people coming in and saying I want something that is really uniquely Albertan so we'll actually help them work, look for that. In keeping with their historic traditions some fine craftspeople source their raw materials locally and everyone in the economy benefits as centers of excellence emerge. The ceramic scene is really strong here because of the large amount of clay that's available in Alberta. And natural gas has been a big factor in the hot glass scene in Alberta, which is very dynamic. The value in supporting our local culture lies in what you see and what you don't see. Throughout the, the craft arts scene, uh, there is a fairly s steady conversation, debate, thought process, personal thinking about all these value issues aside from just producing yeah, something. This episode of Made in Alberta was sponsored by the Alberta Craft Council. To view fine crafts from all over Alberta or to learn about Craft Council member activities, visit albertacraft.ab.ca or go into the Alberta Craft Gallery and Shop in downtown Edmonton. Join us again for more stories in the new year about innovative Albertans who are busy crafting our sustainable new energy future.